G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this video is about how to grow turmeric. Mine's just starting to sprout but also I want to show you how we can turn turmeric into that wonderful powdered spice that we all love to use in our cooking. We can do it organically and it is absolutely amazing. The bought stuff's good but when you do it organically like this, the end result is much stronger. You often hear cooks saying, hey, you don't need to use much turmeric. That's because those good chefs use the really top quality stuff, fresh, organic. The normal powdered stuff you get at the supermarket, it doesn't have that punch. So you could probably use quite a bit more of it. But with the stuff you make at home, powdered. It's uh, amazing quality, full of antioxidants and it's a top spice to have in your cooking. Did you know that they use turmeric as a colouring, a natural colouring for butter? Yeah, true. Anyway, let's get into it. So here's where I grew my turmeric last season. So in winter it went dormant. Now it's uh, the last month of spring and it still hasn't started coming up yet so it, it's a real late start it happened last season as well it started quite late I grew this from just one pot that I got from the nursery one little pot of turmeric and I've ended up being able to after two seasons spread it along of a couple of meters so I'm going to dig this up now and what I'm going to do is keep some of it for plants for this next coming season because they'll start to sprout soon and the rest I'm going to dry up and powder in the uh, grinder and see how we go. The turmeric roots or rhizomes can go fairly deep so I generally use a, a fork like that and dig him up You'd be surprised how much you can get out of a single plant. But you can see that there's these tubers like that and then you've got some that are starting to shoot. Well I you always use the ones that are starting to shoot. If I dig it up a bit early and I have no shoots well then I'll just shove whatever in the ground. Obviously when I refurbish the ground I use some good compost that's my old dodge, dodgy compost heap I've got bits of egg and everything in that so it's nice rich compost because they are a pretty heavy feeding plant and uh, I put that compost in and then I give it a good mix up and mix it here all in so that the soil is nice and replenished and heaps of and heaps fertile really I then rip off any of those excess tubers and just keep the the shoot then I just push the shoots in make sure the shoot is upright if it is shooting and I have the plants you know a little bit apart you can be planted quite close together I just threw a bit of blood and bone organic blood and bone over that and I give that a water in but you could use chicken manure or any type of organic manures that type of thing and then I give it a good mulch in and the, the shoots will come up through that mulch. After that, I peel it with either a spoon or a grater or whatever you want or a paring knife. Dehydrate it until it's nice and crunchy. Um, takes about 24 hours to dehydrate it. And then, once it's really hard and dehydrated, I put it in a coffee grinder. And you can get these separate. Mine's attached to my machine. And coffee grind it up until it's a nice fine powder takes about 30 seconds or so and you'll find that there will be some little hard bits left over so what I tend to do is give it a good sift throw the bigger bits back in so that you make the and then re redo it so that you make the powder nice and fine and there you have it organic turmeric powder fantastic thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed that video don't forget to subscribe and visit my blog selfsufficientme.com it's in the description bye for now